The Duke and Duchess of Sussex has taken a dramatic turn. Reports have surfaced, placing Prince Harry and Meghan Markle at the center of controversy for what has been described as a strategic play for sympathy, coinciding with a significant royal milestone, King Charles's historic address to the nation. Sources close to Buckingham Palace have revealed that the Sussexes profess to being out of the loop regarding the King's 75th birthday celebrations, a statement that emerged just as the monarch was preparing to commence the state opening of Parliament. This claim, however, was quickly challenged by a report suggesting that an invitation had indeed been extended to Prince Harry, only to be declined. Amidst these revelations, a confidant of Harry and Meghan, Omid Scobie, hinted at the possibility of a calculated leak by the palace, intended to overshadow the couple's commentary on the king's recent diplomatic visit to Kenya, a trip that has been deemed a success despite calls for a colonial reckoning. The situation harks back to a previous assertion by Meg Han in a high-profile interview, where she compared the public's reaction to their nuptials to the celebration of Nelson Mandela's release, a comparison that, while striking, lacked substantiation. The unfolding scenario suggests a meticulously crafted image maneuver by Meghan Markle. Initially, the narrative positioned the Sussexes as sidelined from royal festivities, a move that kept them in the media spotlight by association with the royal family. Following the palace's refutation, a subsequent statement from the couple's spokesperson painted them as the overlooked party, seemingly to elicit public support and perhaps an invitation from the king himself. This media strategy, however, comes at a personal cost. As the couple engages in this public relations chess game, Prince Harry faces the intangible loss of precious moments with his father, time that, once passed, cannot be reclaimed. Prince Harry has openly expressed his belief that Meghan's charisma and appeal eclipse that of the royal family post-marriage, leading to what he perceives as envy-driven narratives against them. Despite her initial popularity, the couple's current tactics to remain relevant, especially in the vast and competitive American landscape, betray a sense of desperation. As the royal family maintains a stance of dignified silence in the face of the Sussexes' overtures from Montecito, Prince William enjoys a warm reception in Singapore, highlighting the stark contrast in their current standings with the public. The Sussexes, once royal insiders, now find themselves in a self-imposed exile, their actions increasingly seen as mere fodder for the headlines rather than the dignified comportment once associated with their titles.